Now, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, busy roads, motorways like car parks, hold-ups and delays, it's enough to make you feel... But what if you could reach your destination in a way that's not only good for your health and the environment, but it's completely free? The Slow Ways Initiative hopes to inspire and support more people to travel on foot by creating a countrywide network of walking routes connecting up villages, towns and cities across the UK. Willing to give it a try? Well, the founder, Dan Raven Ellison, who is based here in Devon, met up with our reporter, John Danks, to stretch their legs. There are thousands of routes. The smallest are about five kilometres. The longest up in Scotland, and there are only a handful of these, are about 60 kilometres. The average route is about 15 kilometres in, in England. So for a lot of people, that's about a three hour walk. And actually, you know, while it's a very short drive to, or train ride to take yourself from Newton Abbott to Torquay, this is taking us just over three hours. And what's the difference? Well, I think we're gonna have a really memorable, enjoyable day. We're gonna get lots of sunshine. It's great for our health, our well-being, as we all know. And so, you know, if you've got the time, why not slow down and walk it instead? And the great thing about this route as well is that you can take the train back to where you started as well. We're walking town to town, using country lanes and footpaths. Some are a bit on the wild side. So we're down, we find ourselves in the thick of it here. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess some of the routes are a bit like this. Yeah, especially this time of year when it's all sunny and wet and everything gets a bit overgrown. A good tip is to bring a pair of secateurs with you to help clear your way for yourself and others as well. But it's a part of the adventure, isn't it? During lockdown, Dan enlisted the help of 700 volunteers to plot a network of slow routes between villages, towns and cities. This year, he wants people to try them out and rate them too. Our walk is one of 463 in the southwest. Loads of us are far more into walking now. I think during lockdown, walking was often the only place where we could maybe have time to ourselves, to connect with loved ones, to, you know, uh, just have a break from you know, this trauma that we've all been going through. But as we slowly, you know, emerge from this trauma, I think that lots of us are remembering how enjoyable it is to get out for a walk. Dan hopes these routes can become a useful resource, helping to form a pedestrian highway system, getting you from A to B just a bit more slowly. So we've made it. <laughs> this is what it's all about, isn't it? This is getting here on foot and now we've got a wonderful view in front of us. I've absolutely loved this walk. It's been such a great walk, starting off in Newton Abbott, coming here to Torquay. And one of the best things about walking a slow way, I think, compared to other types of walking, is arriving and to come over the top of the hilltop and to see the town in the future and to know you can hit the beach straight afterwards is just a beautiful thing. And why would you, why would you drive that journey if you've got the time to walk it instead? <laughs> 